Honey, I'm just dying to know, how did you and Payne meet? Well, actually, it's an incredible story. I happen to be a huge fan of Lord Byron. Even if I'm teaching the Elizabethan period and it has absolutely no relevance, I will just force him in there. Well, that is an incredible story. Now, I think we should all get to work. I wasn't finished. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgive me to go on. Where was I? Forcing Lord Byron. <laughs> oh, yes. Anyway, I'm walking across campus one day with a close personal friend and Suddenly, I see this beautiful young man coming toward us, the sun illuminating his hair like golden fleece. And just as I catch a fleeting glimpse of his Romanesque profile, it hits me like a thunderbolt that this could be Byron reincarnated. I introduce myself, only to discover his name is Payne. Oh, what a magnificent name. It must have been in your family for generations. Actually, I named him Payne because I was in labor for two and a half days. <laughs> <laughs> to me, Payne looks like just any other kid in cutoffs and sneakers. A knave so gold in his hyacinth beauty lays low the oxen's burden. He stepped from the tarnished rooms of a Grecian urn and laid his bounty upon my grateful breast. <laughs> I think that's pain to a T. What do you think, Julia? I think you're full of crap. <laughs> as long as you could. <laughs>